What's going on? I am the mass man. And and um and in this in this video I'm going to to speak about the situation that is occurring with Derek Jackson's wife. Now, I don't <clears throat> I I don't know her her name, but um I came across um the situation uh regarding Derek Jackson's wife uh through another video and and I won't be mentioning that video here but I was watching the video and and it was it was a long it was a longer it was a longer video and 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 at the time at the time that I was listening to this video you know I was doing something to pass the I was doing something and I was you know listening to this video and I made it to the to about the halfway mark before I had to tap out of that video and 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 move on to something else <sighs> and I and I'll tell you know and I'll tell you I have a hard time figuring out where to look I have a hard time you know figuring out how I'm supposed where I'm supposed to turn but um uh anyway I digress um I was watching I was I was listening to this video and I tapped out of the video and the video was concerning Derek Jackson's wife. I had to tap out of the video because I became very very frustrated with how the conversation uh was being had i was very very annoyed and 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 irritated with the way that the the people who were having the conversation regarding Derek Jackson's wife and and her antics and 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 the way in which she was presenting herself online um i got i i was irritated by the tone and and the premise of the conversation i was very very irritated i was very very annoyed and i'll tell you why the 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 premise of the particular the premise of the, this particular conversation that i was listening to this particular discussion that i was listening to is that Derek Jackson's wife was excuse me what was twisting was twisting and contorting and misconstruing and 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 mis in and 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 somehow uh misusing the bible in a way that is not meant to be used and they and they just and they <clears throat> and they just kept going on and on and on and on and on and on 
to the point where I just got so irritated that I had to tap out. Um, because it, because what I was listening to was a live, a live show that, you know, had ended. It was a, the recorded, the recorded version of a live show. So I could not interact <clears throat> with the people who were having this conversation. I could not interject into the conversation. It, it, it was a conversation that had already ended, that had already concluded, and nobody who was having the discussion uh, was addressing you know, the way that I felt about this, about, about her and what she was doing and, and the subject matter in general, uh, to my satisfaction. <sighs> so I had to tap out. Here's what I'll say here. Here's what I would have said to the, the people who were having the discussion regarding Derek Jackson's wife and her behavior and her antics and the ways in which she was interpreting and, uh, and analyzing scripture, you know, the... Here's what I would have said if I had come across the live broadcast and I was inclined to involve myself in 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 a petty conversation. Um to the premise that Derrick Jackson's wife it were, is, is misinterpreting or misusing or taking scripture out of context to the to the individuals who believe that who believe that that's what she was doing or believe that you can that that it is possible for you to misuse or mis uh interpret scripture there is no such thing as a right or a wrong way to interpret the bible there there, there is no there is no proper interpretation. There is no proper analysis. There is no appropriate uh, interpretation. It's just an old fucking book. It's an old ass book. The Bible, no matter how you may feel about its validity or its efficacy or its legitimacy, it's a book that was pinned and compiled edited and you know you know um disseminated hun hundreds of years ago the bible is hundreds of years old it is hundreds of allegedly thousands of years old. 
the Bible is is it, it, it's 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 a book. It is a book, and a book has words. And when you are reading a book, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to gather my, I'm trying to figure out how I want to say this, but the Bible is is a old book. It is an old book. And when you are reading a book that is, you know, in, in, in your private time, on your own, there are things that that not even the Bible just just let let's remove the Bible from the conversation. Just take any book. When you when you pick up a book and you bring it home or you bring it to your living situation and you open it up and you begin to read if you are a literate person who was competent to to the reading level there are the book says what it says explicitly it says what it says you know in literal you know plain discernible language but Every book, you know, no matter how simple or how complex, you know, there are things that there are conclusions and there are calculations and analysis that you have to arrive at on your own. There are things that you have to put together and that you have to, you have to, you have to form a picture of with, with the power of your own mind, with the power of your own intelligence, with the power of your own imagination. A book no matter how big or small, cannot do everything for you to understand whatever it is saying or however it is written or however it is organized, whatever whatever the author or authors intended for you to understand or believe or feel it 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 can't necessarily be translated through the pages in the way in which they intended it to be to be understood, to be accepted, to be um, interpreted. There's just no way for that to happen. There is work, there is effort, there is, you know, things that have to be done by the reader to get to and get at the message that the book just can't of itself provide you with. 
the competency of the reader is as important as the book the person is reading. So I go back to Derek Jackson's wife and her behaving erratically, uh, using the Bible as, as a book to pray for the downfall of people who are speaking against, who are speaking disparagingly of her and her husband and their relationship. This idea that 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 she's misusing the Bible or she's misinterpreting the Bible or she's taking it out of context or any of that is it, 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 it's felonious. It's nonsense. It's bullshit. There is no when it comes to the Bible specifically. When it comes to the Bible, there is only two ways that you can interpret the Bible. You can either interpret it in a healthy, productive way that, um, that you know, aids in and benefits your your life that makes you a functioning productive member of society or you can have an unhealthy dis, you know dysfunctional relationship with the bible and what it says and 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 what it and and what is written in its pages but there is no correct or incorrect interpretation of the bible there is no correct and incorrect way to read a thousands year old book that is divorced from anybody who was responsible for writing the thing being anywhere close to alive. There, there is no appropriate, accurate, specific way to interpret the Bible or to do it correctly. There is only healthy and, and productive and unhealthy and dysfunctional, but both can be equally valid based on what is written in the pages. Both can be equally valid, equally legitimate, because the Bible is a book. It does not talk. If you are misusing the Bible the fucking Bible isn't going to open its mouth and start talking to you and start telling you, hey, you're misusing me. You're taking my words out of context. You, you are lying on me. The Bible isn't going to say anything. It isn't going to argue with your interpretation of it. It's a book. It it means whatever you want it to mean. It doesn't have any intent. It doesn't have any any anything. It 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 it, it doesn't have any it, it's a book. It can mean whatever you want it to mean. As somebody who is 
who has been classified as legitimately, you know, I've been with, you know, crazy motherfuckers. I've been, I've been, I've been among, I've been classified as, and I've been in the room with crazy motherfuckers. And a lot of people who are legitimately, medically, legally, you know, out of their fucking mind, a lot of those people, you know, are quoting scripture and talking about, you know, the Bible. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> when it comes to the Bible, when it comes to religion, there is no limit. There is no boundary. There is no, there is nothing that a person cannot come up with in their own mind after they read some shit they saw in a religious book. There is no conclusion. There is no analysis. There is no interpretation. There is no understanding too outlandish, too insane, too ridiculous that they couldn't arrive at based on what is written in the book. So don't tell me that a motherfucker is taking this out of context or they using it the way that they want to use it. The book don't talk. The book doesn't say shit, but what, but what is written is not going to argue with you. It's not going to debate you. It's not going to physically stop you from misusing and 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 misbehaving it's a fucking book the constitution relatively speaking is a much more recent and a much shorter document than the holy Bi than the king james bible it is a much shorter and it is a much more recent document than the Bible. And people argue viciously over what it means and what the and what the authors were trying to say and what their intentions are and what the interpretation should be and how people should behave based on what they wrote and whether people are actually living up to the document and is the government behaving constitutionally or unconstitutionally. So if, so if a secular document that is massively shorter, much more recently written, written by people that we can prove legitimately existed. And not only that, but they didn't just make that document and just fade from history. They made that document and they had other writings and other you know, things that they did in their life that survived history that spoke of what their intent and what they were thinking when they made that document. So we not only have the document, but we have accompanying documents that backs up what they were saying when they were pinning the document and we still have debates and arguments and disagreements and, and, and fights over what they meant by the Constitution that was written a few hundred years ago. And you think that a thousands-year-old religious book that doesn't have 
any accompanying documents, that doesn't have any corroborating sources, that isn't tied to anybody in history that you can find that was responsible for writing it, who spoke about what they meant when they were writing it, and you want to act like these mother that this motherfucking compilation of a bunch of different motherfuckers writing some shit and then being stuck together and edited and translated into different languages has one specific way to be interpreted and the motherfuckers over the centuries have used this book to commit every kind of atrocity that you can possibly imagine and you think this bitch that got cheated on and lied to and embarrassed on a scale that only Will Smith can sympathize with? You think this bitch is the, the one who just ain't getting it? Nigga, please. That's all I got to say. I'm running out of time. I don't want my camera to cut off on me, but that's what I wanted to say. And that's what I would have said had I been able to uh, get this, you know, interject. And, and, and I felt, you know, motivated to have a frivolous conversation. But I just wanted to put a video out because I hadn't put out one in a while. And, you know, I kind of want to stay in practice. I'm going to try to put out more videos in the coming year, but I'm not really committed to doing regular uploads. I'll just do a video here or there. But, you know, in the next, you know, if I, if I continue to live and I continue to stay healthy and all of that, at some point, you know, I want to, you know, have a regular presence, you know, as a 